Hi everybody, we're looking at micro and we're trying to find these hot topic areas that are likely to feature as long essay questions in your examinations. Well, I've got a good list uh, for you here of topic areas for you to focus on and to make sure you give an extra 5% to your revision. I want to start with the housing market in the UK. We know that the housing market is failing for many individuals out there, especially for young people in the UK economy. You would argue along the lines of income inequality and affordability issues, especially in key UK housing markets like in London in the outlying areas as well. So you could get a question about um, potential government intervention in the housing market, you know, discuss whether it's necessary, discuss the policies that the government could use um, to intervene in the housing market to improve affordability, for example. You might get specific policy questions, so discuss the idea of rent control. It's something that uh, the Labour government have talked about a lot, you know, introducing the idea of rent control, maximum prices on rent, for example. Uh, in hot areas like in London, for example, where rent prices are very, very high, and other areas where affordability is a big issue. So you might get a discuss question about a specific policy to improve the affordability of housing or to improve the way in which the housing market works. So knowledge of the housing market is very important for a long essay question. Often a favourite for examiners, and I can see that happening again. There's been a lot of talk recently about the obesity crisis in the UK. So many stats flying around about the impact of obesity, not just for the individual, but also the third party uh, effects of obesity and how the taxpayer bears the burden, the NHS has to suffer more by treating kids and adults who have got obesity related illnesses. Um, and lots of talk about potential solutions to that, especially the implementation of a sugar tax. Now the sugar tax is going to be enforced and brought in next year, but it was announced last year by George Osborne in his uh, last budget, so make sure that you're aware of the pros and cons of a sugar tax to solve uh, demerit good related market failure in this case and whether uh, the way in which George Osborne has proposed the sugar tax is likely to be effective in reducing the consumption of sugary drinks and sugary products in general. Uh, good to be aware of um, a sugar tax there on both sides of the argument, being able to compare to countries like Mexico for example where it's been tried and tested. Another major topic area I think is very likely to feature somewhere is the idea of rail nationalisation. Um, it's been a hot debate recently. I mean, think about the, the issues that we've seen with train services in the UK. We've got privatised train operating companies and we've got a, a state-run network rail um, who look after rail track and platforms and signals and all that kind of stuff, stations. But the train operating companies themselves are private companies. So we've got some privatisation with rail services, we've got some nationalisation, some state-run services as well when it comes to rail track through network rail and uh, whether that works in the interest of society you know uh, a lot of talk about whether train operating companies should be fully nationalized and the state should just take control so considering the issues we've had recently with strikes with disruptions recently uh, not just over the winter uh, that's just gone but even before that this was a big big issue the delays with trains for example the poor quality of service the lack of competition even though we've had privatization so look out for a a long essay question where you're discussing whether uh, train services should be nationalised, you know, and we go against privatisation instead. The energy market in the UK is a big area of concern for the government and fuel poverty as a result of the market failures that we might see within the energy market in the UK. So you might get a, a long essay question discussing possible interventions in the energy market considering it's an oligopoly market, considering it's very highly concentrated, considering that there might be some collusive uh, activity happening in that market, so um, a long essay question about government intervention, about competition policy, about specific policies like energy caps, you know, Theresa May recently has announced uh, energy caps that the Conservative government will use before her, the Labour, um, the Labour Party were talking about energy caps through Ed Miliband for example, so it's been talked about a lot, the idea of maximum prices or price caps on energy to help reduce fuel poverty, to help make the energy market work more in favour of consumers. So look out for a question like that. Generally the topic area of oligopoly, there are lots of uh, oligopoly markets in the UK, the two great examples, we've got fuel providers, we've got the big six energy companies, right, and other uh, markets as well. So maybe a discussion um, looking at oligopoly behaviour, whether there needs to be intervention in certain oligopolistic markets in the UK, whether competition policy needs to be stricter, various policies that can be used to break up oligopoly behaviour. Uh, so look out and make sure you learn oligopoly really, really well. I think this topic area is a little bit premature, it's a little bit too recent, but the impact of the Europe freeze, uh, the big freeze in Europe and how uh, basic fruit and vegetable prices skyrocketed from October through to kind of January 
uh, of uh, 2016 through 2017. A little bit early for that to come up, but just take that as a chance to show off some application of how markets work. Do you know demand supply shift is? Do you know the price mechanism really well and how uh, resources are allocated in a free market? So maybe understanding that, using that as very good application in your essays if you don't get a direct question on it because it's so premature. But see that as a great way to showcase your knowledge of demand and supply. Within labor markets, I think a huge area that you are likely to get asked is with income inequality in the UK um, and policies to help reduce income inequality. Even though our Gini coefficient looks decent at 0.34 right now, um, compared to lots of other OECD countries, we're actually ranked very poorly when it comes to income inequality. So questions discussing whether income inequality is a concern in the UK economy, questions where you're discussing potential intervention, whether there needs to be intervention, the kinds of policies that the UK government could use, for example, um, that's worth considering. There was lots of debate around a year, two years ago, about wage caps. You know, Jeremy Corbyn, for example, just brought it out there. He didn't really think, think it through and, you know, who would suffer wage caps and uh, to what level there will be wage caps. He didn't really think it through, but it's something that was talked about anyway. So maybe examiners are hooking on to that and are likely to ask you a question on that. Who knows? But being prepared to answer a question, labour market specific question here about income inequality and policies maybe to reduce income inequality in the UK, or just generally questions about whether it's uh, a concern or not. Look out for that, revise that well. Another major topic area that I can see coming up is the discussion of state provision, and whether we need state provision over certain goods and services, like healthcare, like education in particular, for example, or even the provision of public goods, for example. And the reason why is with austerity, there have been major cuts to education, for example. NHS spending has not gone up, um, so there have been more burden on the NHS. So there's been lots of uh, focus in the news about pressure on the NHS, whether the NHS is falling apart, pressure on state schools, how many children there are now in primary school classes, for example, that primary school places are so scarce. So a discussion over whether state provision is an adequate solution to market failure or is an adequate policy to intervene in markets full stop. Be prepared for that with application of the NHS, with application of state schooling in the UK. But definitely discussion of the state provision, given the major issues we've seen over the last two, three, four years, and the pressure on government-run organisations like the National Health Service and state schooling. Very, very topical area, which could well come up as a long essay question for you. And the last one that I'd recommend is looking at recent privatisations and discussing the impact of that. Royal Mail was privatised in 2013. We know it's now been a good chunk of time whereby we can assess the impact of that privatisation. So looking at recent privatisations, uh, in the UK and assessing the impact of that as a long essay question could easily come up so be prepared for something along those lines. Well now that you've got this information what good is it? How should you use it? Well first of all you've got to make sure that your content knowledge around all these topic areas is perfect. I've got videos on my channel that cover absolutely every topic area I've just mentioned so make sure you go and watch those videos and make sure that your theory economic knowledge is perfect so then you can um, argue your case on the one hand, on the other hand you can come to a judgement for example, you can evaluate these key points really really well. Another key thing you need to make sure is that you can structure essays. So if I've just told you right now all the key topic areas that are likely to come and the kind of long essay question that you can get, then make sure you can structure and form an essay plan around these topic areas. So if it does come up in the essay you can just go bang, I know exactly what I'm trying to do, I know exactly the kind of points I want to make, let's just go and get this done. Another key thing you need to make sure is that you've got good application. Go and hunt it down. Do your research. Get great data and application to back up your theoretical points that you're going to be making in your essay. Give an extra 5% to these topic areas and you'll be 100% banging when your exam comes. Uh, so really hope you like this video, guys. Hope it prepares you really well. And let's just hope that a lot of these questions come up and you're well prepared for them. All the best, guys. See you all in the next video.